Hello, my name is Bianca. I'm a medical scientist working in the analytical services section. In my undergraduate degree, I studied the BSc in life and environmental sciences, specializing in biochemistry and human physiology. Hello, my name is Lerato. I'm also a medical scientist working in the analytical services section of the NOH. During my undergraduate, I studied a BSc in medical science and later specialized in chemical pathology for my honors qualification. I'm currently looking into determining ethyl glucuronide, which is abbreviated ETG in blood as an indicator of recent alcohol use. And I am looking to find out how stable alcohol would be in a blood sample after the blood has been kept at different temperatures for six months. Overconsumption of alcoholic beverages and drunkenness have always played a major role in fatal accidents, trauma, deaths, drowning and suicides globally. My research looks into the presence of ETG in blood and how this indicates recent alcoholic consumption, even when conventional blood alcohol tests indicate that there is no ethanol in the breath or in the blood. My aim is to therefore investigate these ETG levels in blood as an indicator of recent alcoholic consumption and to ultimately confirm the reliability of measured levels in blood to measured blood alcohol concentration in the same subject. The aim of my study was to assess the stability of alcohol or ethanol concentrations in blood specimens under variable temperatures, time and headspace conditions in environmental conditions specific to Johannesburg, South Africa. There is no published research done in South Africa or on South African populations related to the measurement of blood ETG as an indicator for recent alcohol consumption. I therefore intend to develop a valid and validate methods for ETG detection in blood using LC-MSMS as a gold standard. The development of this method can be useful for applications in occupational, clinical, and forensic toxicological work. Generally, blood alcohol tests take a long time to complete in South Africa, sometimes up to six months. The validity of the results from blood stored for such a long time is currently unknown. This research therefore aims to hopefully assist employers in proving that the blood results for alcohol consumption are indeed valid and accurate, given the long turnaround time. This type of study has never been done before in a South African context and therefore will be the first. Through this research, I have discovered that alcohol is stable in blood specimens for up to three months if kept at refrigerator conditions. However, alcohol stability in blood cannot be guaranteed for any longer periods. When alcohol is ingested, it is metabolized in two pathways, namely the oxidative pathway, which is the main pathway, and secondly, the non-oxidative uh, pathway. ETG forms from ethanol undergoing non-oxidative pathway. This is a key finding as the presence of ETG in blood is a specific indicator of recent alcohol consumption, even when conventional blood alcohol tests indicate that there is no ethanol in the blood or breath. I've discovered that the presence of ETG in blood is a metabolic process and will not be affected by factors that affect blood alcohol determinations such as microbial activity. I found it interesting that ETG can be detected up to 36 hours after consumption, whereas alcohol in blood has a maximum window of around 12 hours. <laughs>